Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is string the split node? So let's go ahead and run our quick little example. We will run our default text. Now our default text we're going to be working with is a few spaces. This is a long string of long text with a few more spaces. Note that each word has the first letter capitalized. So what is our split? Our split node basically will take in a source string. So let's go ahead and plug in our long string. It's going to take in the input string, which is basically, it's going to look for this, find it, and if it finds it, cut it out and return back what was before it and what was after it. It splits it right where that word is at. So let's go ahead and change this, plug this in. Now our substring to get is going to be the word long in all lowercase, and that is important for later on. So our outputs are the left string, which we're going to plug into our first box, and the right string, which we're going to plug into our second box. We're going to go ahead and hit play, leaving everything else at default. Now what we see is the following. A few spaces, this is a, another space, then it cuts off, that is our left string. Now our right string is a space, string of long text, and a few more spaces. You'll notice the first occurrence of the word long is no longer here, and it cut it out completely and separated into our left and our right side. So that's what the split node does. It'll basically split it in half or split it to whatever size it needs to be based on the string you tell it. So our first enum is gonna be our ignore case. By default, it'll ignore, which is why the original sentence with the capital L and the string to search for with the lowercase l work perfectly fine. If we were to go ahead and tell it case sensitive and run it, you're gonna find nothing happens. Well, there was no way to split it, so therefore it failed. Well, how do we know if it failed or not? Let me go ahead and hook up this print string, and there's a last output value called return value. If we go ahead and plug that in and print it out, we'll turn this back to ignore case. This time when we run it, look at the top left corner. We're going to see true. There was a successful split, so it tells us true. When we change this to case sensitive and hit play, we'll see false, and we'll also see no result because the split failed. We did not have a successful split. So that is how you can determine if you have a good split or a bad split, and then do something accordingly. Let's switch this back to ignore case, and let's look at the last one. This is our search direction. If you notice in our original string, we have two occurrences of the word long, one here in a few words, and then one near the end. When we run it by default, you'll notice it splits the first long and it continues on. It's only going to split at the first occurrence based on the direction you told it to go. So from the start, we have this word long, which is missing, and then it will continue on and ignore the next one. If we change this to from end and we hit play, now you'll notice it splits off at the second occurrence of the word long because going from backwards forwards, we find this is our first occurrence of the word long because we started from the end and then it splits off left and right sides. So those are your enums there. These are your inputs and your outputs and that's how we use split. Now it could be useful, for example, if you want to split on input such as, let's say we typed in a name. I'll go ahead and put my name in. And if you notice in here, I have one space. Let's go ahead and undo this. Tell it our in string is space. Ignore case from start. Let's go ahead and hit play. And you notice it split my name perfectly without using the space. Give me a first and last name. So this is an easy way for you to split something up. A common use may be you allow them to put their first and last name in or a first name and a surname. And then you go ahead and split it based on the space. Maybe another occurrence is you have an input and that input is going to be comma separated or another type of value that basically separates a first and a second part of a string. A lot of the time you'll use a comma or something that's not used commonly. You can use the split in order to split it in half. Or let's say, for example, you had a currency and your currency used the P for whatever reason to separate between your primary amount and your secondary amount of your currency. You could split based on the P and then you'd know the primary and secondary amounts. So that's it. That's what our split node is for. 
If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.